Hello everyone. Today's video is part of Kindra's Card Challenge 15 and we've got a listing here of all of our super sponsors that are sponsoring uh, Kindra's Card Challenge 15 and today we are featuring one of our super sponsors, Altenew. And today I'll be working with a bunch of product from Altenew. I've got these three artist markers. I've got Cherry Blossom Set, Red Cosmo, and Tropical Forest. I've got this mini magnolia stamp and die set. I've got this beautiful butterfly press plate, and I've also got one other coloring pages. So we're just gonna get started working with the mini magnolia stamp and die set. And this is the one that I'm gonna be um, actually assembling on the video, and I'll be doing some coloring. Altenew asked us to feature their markers, and so we will be featuring some of their markers today. So I've got this mini magnolia stamp set that has just because is the sentiment. And I'm just going to bring the magnolia in and grab it with my Misty and just bring in some Memento black ink. And we'll get this stamped up. And then we're going to do some coloring with these wonderful markers. And I have been playing with these markers since I ordered them and I love them. They are fabulous. They've got a nice brush tip and a fine tip, and I really, really enjoy working with them. So I've got this all stamped down, and I'm just using a piece of scrap paper here. So I'm gonna be bringing in my Cherry Blossom set of artist markers, and they're alcohol-based with a brush and fine tip. And there are four colors in each um, box that I have. And this one has um, Pink Diamond, Pink Alicious, Rubellite, and Raz Razzleberry, and I'll just be working with them. So while I um, do my while I start my coloring and do my coloring, let's talk about the hop. So today's hop um, is a giveaway hop in which you have a chance to win a digital um, gift from Cards by Kendra, and we have a link in the description box below a form that you can fill out for a chance to win the giveaway prize. Um, and you'll want to fill it out at, at each stop that, so that it will increase your chances to win the prize. So if you click the description box below, you'll find the form and then you can fill that out and be entered for a chance to win the prize. In addition to the giveaway form, there is also um, a link to the playlist for this hop in the description box below that you can click on. And if you click on it and hit play all, it will just play all of the videos that are um, listed in this hop and you won't have to go from video to video. It'll actually move you from video to video and you can fill out that form on each um, video site. And I would encourage you to do that so that you can check out the inspiration and just see what all the designers are doing with this alt new product. Um, I think you'll really be inspired. There's a lot of talent on the team, and I think you'll really enjoy the hop. So I encourage you to follow along to all the designers. And if you see something you like, um, please feel free to hit the like button on each site and maybe even subscribe if you're not subscribed to one of the designers. We would certainly appreciate it. So um, right now I'm just doing some coloring. I'm I think I went from lightest to, or from darkest to light on this is how I think I colored it. Um, and I'm just filling in the um, flower with the different colors and just kind of blending over each. And I'll do multiple layers on um, with each color just to get the blending like I like it. And it'll all come together very nicely. These, like I said, these markers are just wonderful. I love that brush tip on there. Um, they, it just flows like butter and I really enjoy working with them. Um, so um, to enter into Kinder's Card Challenge, what you need to do is, um, first of all, you're gonna wanna get the PDF sketch of the, the cutting guide and the sketches. You're gonna wanna get that, and you can get that um, on Kendra's Patreon site, which is located at HTTPS uh, backslash backslash Kendra's card challenge.com um, and you can get the sketch if you haven't got it and then you would just follow the cutting guide and make your cuts and do all 15 cards and take a single photo of all 15 cards all 15 sketches and you'd want to enter it into Kendra's um, Facebook page into the appropriate album 
Um, if you don't have Facebook, you can go to www.kinderscardchallenge.com and enter, the, enter them there. Now, with KCC 15, you have three opportunities. You can actually submit three sets. You can submit one for July, one for August, and one for September, and have three different chances to win with your set of 15. Now, each set, um, you need to enter a different set for each month, um, but it is a set of 15, and you just take one picture of all 15 cards and enter it. In addition to that, you can also enter individual sketches into the individual sketch folders for chances to win. So you might check that out. Now, some of the additional benefits, besides all the wonderful prizes, are um, if you join um, Kendra's Patreon. Now, to get the PDF sketch, it's a free membership. But if you want some of the additional bonuses, such as the um, bonus printables and the monthly mystery card kits and some of the extras you'll you'll want to join her patreon at one of the different levels so you want to check that out because there's lots of opportunity for lots of goodies so you can see i got that um, magnolia colored and die cut out and now i'm just bringing in my pattern paper from the cutting guide and i've got four pieces of pattern paper that i'm going to lay down on this card um, stock that i've got here and we'll just get them laid down and then we'll be begin assembling our card. Now, each of the designers will be talking about Kendra's card challenge. So, if I've missed anything, you want to be sure and pay attention because, um, you know, different people will be probably remember to talk about different things. But um, they're such a blast. I love. Uh, the challenge. It's so much fun. It gives you some inspiration. It gives you a starting point for your cards. So if you get kind of stuck at some point and you need some ideas for creating cards, Kinder's Card Challenge is a great way to get some ideas and some inspiration and to be able to pull together 15 fabulous cards very quickly by just following her her cutting guides and picking out six six by six pattern papers and um, cutting them according to the guides and then assembling them according to the sketches and you will you'll have um, uh, 15 very different cards that are just um, very interesting and um, you know can be very beautiful so for this one um, it calls for pattern a and you've got four pieces of pattern a so I'm using the same pattern on um, this because the sketch does call for the same pattern on all four pieces. It also calls for a um, circled layer or a layered a circle that you layer up. You're gonna um, bring in a two inch layer and then you'll add another circle to it if that's what you want to do. Now I'm doing something a little different because I've got my magnolia. I'm going to take that. Um, two inch circle and stamp my sentiment on there and it says just because and then I'll bring in my magnolia and it will be that second layer that the sketch calls for. So you don't have to follow the sketches to an exact T to be able to enter to win. Um, you know we encourage you to make them your own and to you know kind of show uh, your ideas and thoughts on your cards and so that others can get inspiration from them. So I've got my Just Because stamp down on there, and I'm just gonna lay this um, scallop circle die cut down on my panel, according to the sketch, and then I'm gonna bring in my mini Magnolia die cut piece, and I'm gonna grab some foam tape, and I'm just gonna pop it up and get it laid down on my sketch. Now this is actually sketch two, and I will list the sketch in the corner for you, and I'm going to lay my magnolia down there and get this one finished up. And I think it looks really, really nice. It came together nicely and I had fun coloring. Now I'm going to bring in some embellishments because I think I've got some white space there that I could fill up with some embellishments. So I've just got these pink enamel dots and I'm just going to bring, um, I'm going to put five in total on my card. I'll do three on the upper left side, and then I'll do two on the bottom of my circle die cut on the left. And I think that'll just finish it off and be the right amount of embellishment for this card. Now I showed you other pro products in the beginning of the video, and I want to bring in some other cards for some inspiration and just show you 
what I have made. So I made this card with the Tropical Forest set, markers, artistry marker set, and the Red Cosmo set, and the Mini Magnolia stamp and die set, and I think it turned out great. And then I made the next card with the Red Cosmo and the Tropical Forest and the free panel that you can get off of all to know. And then the third one I made with the Better Press, Butter, Beautiful Butterfly, and the ink, mini inks that I had. And I think it turned out great. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.